All right, so I wanted to show you something um, that I have done with a lot of younger students and that I'm gonna do with Vincent and Piper. Um, <clears throat> it's like mess free. So this is really crappy paper. It's just printer paper. I buy the cheapest kind because hashtag Dave Ramsey. So it's just 20 pound printer paper. Um, and if you have thicker paper, it's better, but this will work. So what you can do is you can take any kind of paint. Um, I had scored these poster paints um, last summer for Piper for Christmas um, when Party City was going out of business. So you can put as, as much or as little as paint as you want, whatever colors you want. Um, I love to do this with primary colors um, so that you know, the kids can really explore what happens when you're mixing those two. So I just grabbed yellow and blue. Go Pacers, I guess. And gallon Ziploc baggie. I like to flip the Ziploc part as I slide in. So you're gonna slide your paper in. Now, little kids, um, you know, especially, you know, two and older, probably will be fascinated watching this process. With Vincent, um, I'm going to have to make sure that he already has a bag ready to go because he's just going to want to explore. Um, so if you want it to close all the way, you're going to want to make sure you cut down your paper um, or you can just fold it so that you can close it completely. Or, you know, you can just see what happens <laughs> by leaving it open. Okay, so at this point, no mess. And they can just squeeze and push. And I know Vincent tomorrow, I know he's going to splatter and push. And he's probably going to try to even put his foot on it. But, <clears throat> you know, you can get them to mix these colors together and see what happens. And they can do this as long as they want because it's in this plastic bag. You don't have to worry about the paint drying. It can squirt all over the place, not a big deal. If you're doing this with lots of kids or um, you want to keep your Ziploc bag, what I do when I'm done, if I know I'm going to reuse, um, you literally just pull your paper out and then you can rinse your bag and just go at it again. And so I like to flip my opening open again and flip it upside down. And this part, you know, you're going to do, you're not going to do, you're not going to let the kid do it unless you're super, super brave and just pull your paper out. So if you have thicker paper, this will be much easier for you because it'll just slide. But because I've used super, super cheap paper, my bag is really wanting to stick. So hopefully you don't mind the mess for yourself. Okay, and so then you have this really beautiful mixed up piece of art um, and paint didn't get all over your kid or their clothes. Now, I get pretty messy, but I mean, that's just me in general, right? So at this point, you can let it dry. You, if you want to let them explore with paintbrushes, you can. You can even take another piece of paper and print on top of this if you've used thicker paper. Um, if they're not quite happy with this one, maybe the paint didn't get um, spread as much, you can even let them fold this over and spread some more. Um, just until they're super happy with it. So at this point, you have paint all in your bag. So if you want to reuse this, you can. Just fill it up with water, give it some shakes, and then turn it up inside out so it can dry. So that's it. That's my little baggy painting um, exploration. Hope you guys give it a try.